loading onto the Rift, make sure you head over to Twitter and start sharing your predictions. As always, tweet at LOL Esports and use either hashtag EDGWIN or hashtag AHQWIN. We'll be checking in periodically to see who you think will advance to the finals. These players are going to have quite a say in that here as we start game one. We're on the Rift. And everyone's predictions coming into this series were that this was going to be a very bloody set of three to five games, and Champ Select is going to show us that it's probably going to be exactly... Well, goes up, they are going to know of his presence. Look, and he's already got friends coming in, exactly. It's going to be uh, three versus two up in this jungle. Mountain and Ziv going to be there in a very sad party in this one. They know. There's the hook on to save. This is going to be a fast first blood. Mountain still trying to focus on that red buff as much as he can, hoping it was only a small skirmish. But then two more members of EDG pop out. Albus now will be spotted. HQ already swapped into topside to make sure Ziv can get some farm on here because the wave is already pushing in. And it's a two versus four. Ziv right now isolated as a 1v3. Mega takes the first turret shot early. Flash from Ziv trying to get away. Koro is low, has no escape. They're going to trade one back, but Ziv will also fall. Both top laners dead. And now Mountain's in a really bad spot. Flash is in. Get some depth with the snipe. 3 1 EDG. 3 1 for EDG. We dominated the lane swap yeah. from the from the buff steal early on in the game to the fights afterwards. EDG crushing the early game, and that's something they absolutely repaired from their playoffs in the LPL. HQ has to go something for five. To turn them down in some of their games. Wow! Death gets hit up there. Mountain now trying to come in as well to get a little more crowd control on. Elvis has already routed Mako for his escape here. He flashes on. Does he have the daybreak shield? Good hit by Clear Love to get the passive stun off. It's still a skirmish before the turret, and that means Mako goes down. But Clear Love will make it out. And he get in and force this ward out. You can see Mount coming around the side. Don't know if they're going to be able to get much out of this. With the six from Westor, I would have figured the TP bottom would have activated their first dragon attempt, but it looks like the party is going to be in the mid lane. Westor only moves a few thousand units there, and he may get hit up. He's forced right out of the fight immediately. Oh. That's going to be clear love going down. Koro's forced to alt out of the fight there, and EDG actually did not want. Oh, very good setup from AHQ. Both teams are trying to set up some pings. Might not be over yet. Mako oh. is going in. Mountain very low health. The box comes out as well. The re-engage on the left-hand side towards Pod Albus. Just trying to buy time. He will sacrifice himself for the team as Koro now being chased out will not take the wild cards. Old in their pockets that they go back and spend between the lanes. 2,500 of that is on their AD carry. Wow. It's going to be the kill on Westor. They relieve this pressure. Might be a little bit easier to back and spend all that cash money. Who needs teleport? We just walk down the river. Meanwhile, team fight on the boss side. Steph gets stunned up. That will be a kill coming towards Ann. Now Mako's got to be careful. Still no TPs available. Not even Destiny with Westor dead, but a one for zero. The re-engage force them. You will. Well, I mean, keep in mind, they have great scaling in terms of the KCP and the Hecarim, mm -hmm. so EDG is not in a position where they necessarily have to force a lot. Now Mountain, he tried to clear a few wards. <laughs> Whoa! You don't do that. Pawn just wanted to shout. He was happy about the situation. Mountain looked like he could get out of this one. No! Wow. Fangs getting to the backside of the boar. He got some decent damage. Mm -hmm. The problem is, how do you stop Koro from just constantly pushing up the top lane? Maybe you can just flash in death though instead of Koro. Oh, that was a clutch lantern, but in comes more! Here it comes, Westor's in, pulls the card. That's gonna be Ann's kill, actually. Mako does make it out alive in that situation. And you can see in all their builds and summoner spell choices, right? Pawn got cleansed, he's popping it almost every single fight. Westor rushing a Lich Bane for more of this. And now Zayv looking for a TP flank. Can they get something here? Yeah, Westor ghosted into this one, so it's just wearing off as he gets into the fight. The team's actually reconsidering this one. Mountain gets hit, but then Ziv goes in. I don't know if they want this on all the same page here for AHQ. EDG recognize that, and they begin to go in. Koro gets one. Actually, that's going to be Pawn picking it up as Koro dives in with the Onslaught of Shadows. And as AHQ sees the fight, they don't want any more of it. Gonna play wave clear duties. Pop the ulti. Does look at TP off this one. Oh, oh and right, in. and the flash gets out of that. Goes back with the onslaught of shadows. Cuts wow. it down, and it looks like Elvis is just gonna be there to be a nuisance. Koro is getting help from Clear Love here. Pawn's coming down just on the left side. They still have their bot lane in the bot lane. This is pretty this greedy. Is be tough. Koro under the turret. That's not where he wanted to be. Westor is able to pick up a kill now. Mako in on the Fade's call, and he's thrown it backwards. They don't want any more under the turret. And EDG AHQ one and one there. If they can try and go for something, they are falling further and further behind. Now, another pick may be coming. What a pile on that glacial prison. Locks up three mountains coming up big in this fight. Elvis has eyes on Pawn. So does oh. Westor, but they turn it. Clear love very low as those two go down. Pawn and Mako now not a part of this fight as Clear love also skirts off down the mid lane. AHQ now only down 500 gold, but Edward Gaming going for the Baron sneak, but it's right on top of a ward. AHQ should be here in time. 
This is going to be intense. I think ADG definitely going to pull off and look for the fight. You don't want to be caught in this Adam. Baron pit, though. They may not. There's the Righteous Glory going in. Mountain dives across. That's actually going to be rendered out by Deft. Baron goes to EDG. Ziv is on to Deft, and he's not going to be able to do much, but he throws Mako to Westor. That could finalize him. They both go down, and the Onslaught of Shadows comes through. Ever Gaming looking to clean up this fight. Now, Ziv's got no damage left. All the carries are gone. A four for two fight, plus a Baron with a triple kill for Pawn. And AHQ, one of their fatal flaws is fighting dragons. They should not. 5,000 gold deficit. Baron buff on three people of Edward Gaming. And AHQ happy to stick around. There's a giant wave top lane that could be pushed, but they want to fight for dragon right here. Edward Gaming going to take it down very soon. Here comes another destiny. Deja vu, but on the other side of the map, who's going to take this one? It is going to be Dragon. Deft once again rends it. Ziv is going to pick up Pawn. No triple kill for him this time. And to the back line and cannot keep himself alive long enough. And it looks like EDG will just start to trample down on the members of AHQ after taking the Dragon and controlling the fight nicely. You need a pink there, guys. Normally you would need a pink. <laughs> Well, the Destiny is going to be locked in on this one. It's only for Vision at this point. Albus is at the front door of this engagement, and he's going to be the one that's hooked first. And he's got a lot of armor and MR, but the damage up is still coming through from Death. Will oh. there be any kind of re-engage? It's a one for zero. Sivirulti popped to go backwards, actually. So much for that lane only going one way. These guys are running for dear life. Clear love poked down a little bit, but AHQ, no illusions of winning this battle whatsoever. Yeah. But they re-engage up on a Koro anyway. Ziv waiting around. This is a 5v4. Keep in mind, there's the dive on. And he's trying to cut out with the Ruin King, but there's so much pain coming through. Koro can't quite make it happen. Mako flashes, can't reach it. Mountain, however, is caught by Pawn. Ooh. Ready to deal the damage. Cleanse on up. One hit from Dead Mountain. Barely live. But at the same time, if you cannot get the right engage, because you have no wards at the moment, you're just going to have to twist the fate ulti for vision. And they're going in for it. They want to fight. Oh, they put their foot down immediately. Elvis tries to go through. The Zenith Blade misses. They're on to Koro, but he dives back out of the fight. Oh. Westor's on the side and Anne's on the back, but they're not able to deliver any damage right now. That Boomerang Blade, however, flying through. Mountain gets the first one. Death's going to pick up a they're kill. They're winning it! Westor. They are picking up the kills they need. The HP bars of EDG are falling, but a second guess here oh. by Mountain and Anne may have given EDG the edge on the fight. Pawn is not going to try it again. Koro and Albus back and forth as he cuts down Albus finally. And what a scattered fight. These are going to be lasting forever. That was absolutely tense. A 10,000 gold deficit. Oh god, Alan's gonna die for this one. Or they're and they heal right from now. Koro is gonna what be enough. There's the ace on the backside. A two for zero. Koro has to die every single time. <laughs> and he's still dead, so AHQ starting up on a Baron. There is no teleport. This is incredibly risky, but it's a play they're going to make. TP and Destiny Wait, pop to engage well. onto EDG. Indoor's pawn, they go. Is it going to be enough? The stun lands as well. Seraph's shield will still be down, but a massive re-engage. The oh, spell the map is so massive, and in comes Koro. It's a one for zero, and out goes AHQ. Three kills going to be picked up for this one. The McHale's right onto Pawn immediately, lets him run rampant. Double kills all around for EDG as Koro finally gets back. I think it's going to be hard for him to die on this one. But it looks Let's like the they're going to be pushing base. I like this here. Go for the base because you had so much trouble breaking into it with all the wave there from AHQ. Open it up now. You have minion waves as no, well. They can win. There's 40 seconds. You might just be able to finish the whole game. And here they go. Carl's going to be tanking this turret. He is beyond tanky. 30 <laughs> seconds on the respawn. There's the mini wave. He's even got a cannon. There is no way I feel like Mountain could actually clear this wave properly. Well, and here comes hero. the game winning push. He says, follow me, come this way, not the Nexus turrets. What a game one from EDG. AHQ said it would be four. They have their chance now. EDG takes game one. What a great control.